for all good people. We have another exciting tutorial for you today. Today's tutorial is going to be about how to control your computer through your Apple remote. If for some bizarre reason you have no interest in controlling your computer through your Apple remote, and maybe you have an interest in controlling it through your iPod Touch, then you should click on my face right now. Because if you click on my face right now, you'll be sent to my tutorial, which teaches you how to control your computer through your iPod Touch. And if you're curious about the case that I have on my iPod Touch, then you should click on my iPod Touch. Because if you click on my iPod Touch, you'll be taken to my case review of Core Cases Aluminum Slider. Yeah, let's go on with the tutorial. So, you guys may know of, a free, of an application called Remote Buddy, which will teach you how to control your computer through the Apple Remote. However, I'm not going to use Remote Buddy because I'm using Remote Buddy for another tutorial that's in the works. So, I'm going to be using a share application called Sofa Control, so I'm just going to open that up. And one thing I just like to bring up about Remote Buddy and Sofa Control, Remote Buddy is shareware for only 30 days. Sofa Control you can use unlimitedly, but only for 20 minutes. So you just I open up Sofa Control, and I get this little message, and it's telling me to enter a li license or purchase. I'm just going to click it later. So right there, that's all I have to do, and now Sofa Control is running. Now I'm just going to kind of briefly go over what we're going to be using each one of these buttons for. So, just this menu button, just pressing it, will actually bring up a, just a general menu for whatever application you're running. If you hold menu, you'll get a global menu, which will have many more features. Uh, the play pause button is going to be used as a click, you know, just a normal click. And then the volume up, volume down, and then forward, and then back, that's just going to be used as... You know, just basically using the number, the number page up, page down, uh, page left, page right keys on the keyboard. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press the menu button. And I get this little menu, and I'll zoom in. So, this menu has a couple features. I'm just going to kind of scroll, scroll through them using the play forward button, yeah. So scrolling GarageBand, I get, I get, you know, iCal, I get iChat, iPhoto, you get the deal. So we're just clicking Menu again to close out of that. Now if I hold Menu, I'll be given this global menu, and I can control the volume from this. I can open up Front Row, or Expose, or Dashboard, or Spaces. So there's just a lot of things you can do in Global Menu. So again, clicking Menu to close it. So one really cool feature is that you can use, actually use your Apple Remote as a mouse, portable mouse. So just by holding down the play pause button, bam, mouse mode is now on. And now I'm scrolling up and left and down, and it might be kind of hard to see. Fortunately, Soul Control is built in this feature that while in mouse mode, if I choose play pause again, and I hold it down, I get this giant circle around my mouse. So now, I can see it from far distances. Unless I'm a dog and I'm colorblind, because then I can't see it at all. But because I'm human and I'm not colorblind, I can see it. So I'm just going to quickly navigate to YouTube using mouse mode, and I'm just going to zoom out so you guys can actually see me go to my dock. Alright, so I'm just going to go down... Oops, went down too far, gonna go back up. Right, I'm at iMovie, iDVD, iPhoto, iTunes, so many eyes, Skype, and Safari. So I'm just gonna click the play pause button, which will act as a click. And it brings me straight to YouTube. So let's say now I wanted to search something, so I'm just gonna scroll up. I'm gonna go to the left. I'm gonna click right there. And now if I hold... Or, I'm sorry, just press the menu button. 
and go down, and I just deactivate virtual, virtual Mouse. It brings me back to this regular menu, and I can scroll all the way over to ABC, which is actually a keyboard, so I want lowercase letters. Now I'm just going to do a sh search for my good friend Candace Macintosh 1, so I'm just going to scroll down until I get to T. And then I'm going to go up to I get to H and E. And I'm just going to kind of go through this without saying every letter, because I'm pretty sure you guys know how to spell the and the word Macintosh and the number one. T, I'm almost there. Oops, past the O. Gotta go back down to the S. Gotta go back up to the H. And I don't know why I'm still saying numbers. So H, and I'm gonna press menu again. And I'm gonna go down to numbers. I'm gonna put one. I'm gonna click menu. Menu. And I'm gonna hold play pause to activate mouse mode again. So it's been activated. And I'm gonna press it again so I get the little circle thing around it. So now I'm just going to go over to the left and do a search. And look, there she is. My good friend Candace Macintosh 1. You guys probably can't see her, but I'm pretty sure if you click on the YouTube page, you'll probably be on the window that's up there right now. You'll be brought to her channel page. So I'm just going to scroll down, and I'm just going to click on her channel. And here we are. Now I'm just going to quickly pause this because it's not my own content and I don't want Candace to get mad at me. So there we go. So that is pretty much it. Well, maybe I want to zoom out. There. So that is pretty much it to controlling your computer through the Apple remote. Um, hope you guys liked the tutorial. And I'd like to give a just quick little announcement that this Saturday, normally will be Sunday, but Saturday, um, I'm going to be sending out a tweet, so you want to follow me, twitter.com slash fisher12, and if you click on the link I give you, it will bring you to the single most awesomest, epic thing you have ever seen in your entire life. So make sure you're following me on Twitter, the link will be right there. So make sure you're following me, and look out for the update. My name is Matt Fisher, because it's not like anyone else would be doing Mac OS 6 tutorials 12 but me. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and take care. Alright, let's do this. Come on, Matt. Come on. Get in the zone. Get in the zone. Come on. It's time to do another film, another tutorial. You're going to march right over to that camera. March right over to the camera. And you're going to say your famous line. The line people wish they could have come up with. Hello, good people. And then you will start the tutorial. You got nothing to fear. It's gonna be perfect. Cause you are the man. I'm the man. You are the man. Who's the man? I am the man. I am the man. I am the Mac tutorial master of YouTube. And I'm gonna walk right over there and film another tutorial right here, right now. Let's do this, baby. Hello, good people. <laughs>